Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're working more on my RPG Maker project. And we have finally finished the first official map for my game. Along with all of the interiors for the village. Which we finished those a while ago. <clears throat> the next thing I am going to work on is since I was not able to get a secret entrance to a cave system to work in the waterfall, which is, you know, that's fine, whatever, no big deal. I can improvise and do it elsewhere. It would have been nice if I could do it here, but it probably would have taken um some backbone coding, and that is way beyond my knowledge. Coding anything at all is like just no thanks. Instant headache looking at that kind of crap. I didn't go to school for it. I have tried learning it online. Nah. I'll pass. So. RPG Maker, you can make games without coding. That's their motto. And that's what we're doing. So, I have another idea. And it involves this building or this house or whatever you want to call it. Clearly it looks like someone lived here, which they did. But, of course the building looks like it's, you know, falling apart, which, you know, age happens to everything. My idea is to put the entrance to the cave system in this building and hopefully make it to where it is um, a secret entrance to where the player has to find it. I may or may not make it a randomized entrance every time, who knows. When that time comes, I will mm, I will consider doing that again. Actually, I'm going to add that as a idea. Which one was the idea? It was this one. Yeah, I need to remodel this and remodel this as well. So, new idea. Consider making entrance to cave randomly spawn inside worn down building. Okay. And now we have that idea saved in the program for later. <clears throat> but now I need to make a map for this. I need to draw the building out. So I need to make a new map. And I have a 2000 map limit. We are currently on um, I call horse shit on that one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Minus the master event list, we're on eleven. Because I'm not counting this one. This one, I mean, it, it counts, but it does not count. Why is it counting it as map five? We're on map. What is this one? 
Man, yeah, map 13. Why is it saying map 5? Where's map... F That's map 1. Okay, so where's map... Map 3. Where's map... Freaking, like... Where's map 4? Map 6. 7. 8. 9. Where's two and all that stuff at? Huh? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I guess five really is missing. Interesting. I don't like that. And this one is map three. So we have three when go through here, but where did five go? Maybe I deleted it. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. We need a new map. That's so weird. This would be 14, not five, but. Huh. That is interesting. <clears throat> that is very, very interesting. And it puts it there. There's fourteen. Huh. That is very strange. All right, so now I need to edit this one to be inside. Auto play this, disable this, cause I'm a douche. Um, actually, I will do all that later. I'll just hit this for now, cause I'm not gonna mess with the music and all that stuff. Actually, no, hold on. Am I doing that right now on all these? I am. Yeah. Okay, I might uncheck those. Now I'll do it now because I'll forget. I kind of wish that there was an option in the settings to disable this, but I kind of get why it's in here. Now because then people can still just hack it out or whatever. Open up the coding and just code it to where it's enabled. So it wouldn't really matter. But I know a way around it, I think. Yeah, I know, I do. Yeah, I know a way around this. Yeah. I know a way around this. I'm not going to spoil it, though. So we need a name for this map. Hmm. What to name it? What to name it? It's obviously a worn down, falling apart house, building, whatever you want to call it. So, I hate to use this rundown house or building because that's too generic, but that might be what I use. No, I got an idea. Hold on, Miss. Is this how you spell mysterious? Maybe. I'll have to double check. Hold on. Let me double check. I want to make sure I get it right. 
Misty... Mistrievous. Yes, it is right. Okay. Mysterious house. And then copy and then paste it. Alright. I mean, it's still kind of a generic name, but it's not as generic as Rundown House. So, it's, you know, it's a mysterious house, because it's just, it's, you'll see. I, ha I have, I have ideas for it. I have ideas. You'll see. We're going to finally use something that I have wanted to use for a while now. And you guys should know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Now the problem is, do I want to increase the size? Or keep it what it is now? I want to take it off of Event Manager. I thought I changed this to that, but I guess not. We're going to finally use a tile set that I've only used once so far. <clears throat> I, have been, I have wanted to place more of this down for so long now. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to put more of it down. I really cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. That's what's in my glasses. Okay, well then. No wonder I'm seeing a freaking speck of bullshit in my glasses. Alright. Now oh, it's still there. Son of a biscuit. God damn it. Get off my glasses so I can see what the frick I'm doing. Please. Damn it, it's still there. It won't come off. What the fuck? Why? I'm rubbing in that area for my glasses to get clean. And that piece of shit won't come off. Why? I am rubbing in that spot. Bro. Like, what the fuck? Dude, what is on my glasses that will not come off? No matter what I do. Dude. I know it's not a scratch because I would feel it if I if it was. Oh, it moves with my fingernail, but not my shirt. What the fuck is that crap? Finally, it's gone. Oh my god. I hate wearing glasses, but contacts suck worse. They suck worse phallus than glasses do. No, they suck worse phallus than adult, adult content stars. Yes. <laughs> they suck more. All right, so now we need walls, floor, interior, decor, and
Okay, so we have a wood building, so I need wood. Wood needed. Okay, I need this. <coughs> Is that the right material? And it doesn't matter, whatever. Um. We're not going to do windows. That seems like enough. Now this might be too small, but honestly, it's okay. It doesn't have to be very big. I could extend it more over this way. And more down here, but for this one, I don't think it really matters. I still might, though. We'll see. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Yeah, no, I might have to extend it. Um, let's see here. Do I have a... I'm not going to do a multi-story one either. It's going to be a single-story building. Or, well, I don't, I don't need this anymore, do I? No, I don't. I don't need a multi-story house or whatever. It's going to be a single-story house. Yeah, I don't need I don't need this blueprint. I want to make a completely new design for this. <clears throat> so I could make it a. Yeah, I want to have to um extend it, aren't I? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. I'll make it bigger because I'll be I'll be too small for what I want to do, which is not a big deal. Um, how about 20, I thought I hit, oh, that's turned off, oh, I was playing on um, my game earlier, a free one, mind you, and I was trying to get my, um, controllers to work for it, because I know they do, but they're not working for it anymore, which is weird, even though I have them, I've had them work before in the past. It was an online game as well. And no, I'm not going to record it because I don't have it anymore. I wasn't going to record it anyway because of, well, it was an online game. And I'm already doing um, RuneScape, so. I just wanted to play it for nostalgia on my own time. But couldn't get my controllers to work and... I finished a quest, that's too big, I don't want that, no, nope, that's too big. Um, I finished a, um, a quest, because they, turns out they um, changed the entire, um, the main story to where it's actually voice acted now, which is kind of nice. And I finished a quest, and boom, 10 levels, just like that, I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of enjoy killing things. <laughs> Next quest it gives me is to go and um, train my character, actually kill things. It spawns me in a um, a timed area with a um, a boss, and the boss killed me in three hits. I was like, "That's why you don't level me up the way you did, so I can actually get money to buy armor." <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like, oh, you guys made a mistake with this one. So, you know, n n n n um, nonetheless, I went ahead and just, you know, noped out of that game and I won't be going back to it. Because they have ruined it. Another good game ruined because stupidity has taken over. It is unfortunate, but it is, you know, it is what it is.
when stupidity takes over an online game and makes it worse. Yeah, it, it's just not funny anymore. That's still not big enough, I don't think. I mean, it's bigger, but it's not big enough. That might be big enough now, yeah. Okay, we'll go with this. I'm gonna do two. I'm not gonna do windows, so there's no point. All right, so this is definitely big enough now. Um, we have that, now we need a floor. Well, it's a wood house, so we could do wood floor all throughout, which honestly, I mean, you know what? I will, hold on now, because it is a house built in the forest. So a wood floor all throughout actually kind of makes sense. I'll do this one, I will do a hard save, so I cannot undo it unless I change it, which is fine, whatever. We have that stuff now, that's good. <clears throat> now to decorate it with decorations, and then do the fun stuff. So I need an entrance. Entrance, whoops, I fuzzed up. Okay, entrance is made. <clears throat> All right. Decor. I need some, do I have, win I have a couple of windows, okay. Oh yeah, I need the um the staples first. Actually no, not first. I need I need I need, I, I want to do it okay, before I do anything else. I want to do the actual um layout first. So it needs a bedroom, a bathroom, a room. A living space and a kitchen as well. Okay, that'll be easy to do. <sighs> All right, so grab this tool or this tile. Um, let's see here. I can probably do a two bedroom, so I might have enough space for it. Yeah, I would actually have a two. I have enough space for it. And then probably put the bathroom in the middle. Yeah, no, I would have enough room. Okay, I will do that. So. Come like maybe right here. Go down a ways, like maybe to like right here. Go over. This is a bedroom. Because I could extend it some if I need to. Actually, no, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. This one's bigger, but it's okay, who cares? And then I can do this, 
this, and this. Yeah, that works. There won't be any stairs. It will be... Yeah. Okay, so bathroom here. Bedroom and bedroom. Okay. So now I need to lay out the... Um... Go ahead and draw the closets for each room here. Because I don't technically need closets, but I like doing it anyway because it makes their house or the building's interior feel like they're lived in. It's actually a small closet. I'm going to make it bigger. Hold on. Bedroom, we had a bit will go up there. Yeah, that works. I you know I can probably cut this down and size some. Yeah, I know I can. Because I don't need a living space or a kitchen that big. But we'll see. I might keep it, you know. I might, I might keep it this big, honestly. Who knows? <sighs> Goodness, why am I dying, yawning so much? Holy crap. All right, do that. Make a hard save. Okay. So the closets are now done. The bedrooms are made. Bathroom is basically made as well. Now to do the layout for the living room and the kitchen area. And if I have enough room, I might add another room to the house. And that might be where the secret entrance to the cave is. Do I have trap doors? Like actual like tile set that hides them? Like an actual, like, icon for it, I wonder. That one's not done. Do I have a trap door? I'm not seeing one. Interesting. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing one. No, I don't have one. There was that idea, unfortunately. No, I mean, hmm. It's somewhat gone, but... <clears throat> I 
I mean... Trap doors. Something visible that would work as a trap door. There's nothing there, obviously. Something obvious that would be a trap door. I ain't seeing shit. Go over here. I ain't seeing nothing. I could do that. Uh, yeah, no, I could do that. A hole in the floor. Instead of a trap door, I can have like a hole in the floor. Oh. Oh. Oh, that sounds like a good idea, actually. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I could do that or not, but. Okay, so if any of you have played Pokemon at all, and. I think it's, um, yeah, no, it is. It's the Hoenn League. And you, and you, and you go to the final gym leader. The, 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 um, and, um, oh, what is it? Oh, crap. What is it? What is that city called? It's the, it's the final gym leader. And you have to walk across the ice. And if you walk across the ice twice, you fall. I don't know, I don't think I can make RPG Maker do that without coding. But if I could make it do that, that would be amazing. That would be fun if I could do that. But I don't think I can without coding it in. I mean, there, not, I mean, there has to be a way, but... There has to be a way, but getting the map to reset may not work. Which is not honestly not a big deal, whatever. You're not walking in a in a straight path or whatever to get to your location. You're Walking around aimlessly, not knowing that they're there. So, when I could do that, but I don't know, it'd be kind of, huh? I don't know. I might, I might not try to figure it out whenever I get to that point. That is an idea. What was that town though? Crap, I'm gonna look it up now. I'm gonna look it up real quick, I'm curious. Ah! Ah, that's right, yeah. That's right. 
That's what it was. That's what it was. Oh, those ones sucked. I always chose, um, Blaziken. Oh, and that one sucked. Uh, yeah, that one sucked. <laughs> um, okay. I'll go in this one. No, I don't want. I spelled the leak wrong, whoops. And if I do this, I will make it different. So it's not a complete ripoff because, you know, Nintendo, they sue. It's just an idea, I may not do it because Nintendo, they sue. So, yeah. But it's, you know, if I, and if I do it, I will do what I can to make it different. Like, in, in this game, when you come back from the bottom to the top, where, where the pitfall traps are, the traps are reset. So if I do it in my game, if I don't have it reset, would that be enough for Nintendo not to sue? Who knows? I mean, I'm probably better off not adding it in because Nintendo, they sue. But it is an idea. If I cannot get it to work, not a big deal. I don't care. I don't give a crap. It's an idea. Who cares? Did I spell Halloween wrong? Oh, whatever. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. This is where Pokemon should have um, died at, honestly. Because after that league, Pokemon went into freaking sewers. And it's been in the sewers ever since. My opinion. Pokemon has died and it has been dead ever since Sinnoh League. And honestly, the best Pokemon game they've ever made would be the two on the GameCube. And if you've not played those games, play them. They are amazing. If you're young, like, if you're young enough to have never heard of a GameCube, Look those two games up. Pokemon Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness. Play this game. If you're if you're young enough to have never heard of a GameCube, play this game. It is the best Pokemon game out there. To this day, the company that made it had no idea what Pokemon was. They had no idea what the heck they were doing. And they made one of the best games ever. Play it. You will not regret it. Trust me. It has a glitch in it as well. Infinite Pokeballs. Look it up. And yes, it works with the Master Ball as well. I want that game on the Switch. Or how no, I want that game on Steam. Oh, but no, Nintendo. <clears throat> Nintendo. They need to quit suing everyone. They would make more money if they would quit suing everyone.
But again, I highly recommend it if you've never heard of a GameCube. Go find it uh, as an as an emulator ROM and play it. Trust me, you will love it. That is before the Mega Evolutions. Before the 10 foot story tall bullshit they have now. Before the ice cream cones. Before the keychains. Bef before, before Pokemon went away from animals as Pokemon. When they started doing all that nonsense, Pokemon died. <laughs> it, it, they're out of ideas. And it shows. Just putting it there now. I still love the franchise, but they need to go back to the roots. They really do. <clears throat> Alright, enough of that nonsense. We're going to be getting back to this. Mm -hmm. A layout for this. Let's see here. A kitchen, a um, living space. And then if I have enough room. A smaller storage room that might be where the secret entrance is. Okay. And then if I'm able to get it to work. Pitfall traps that are similar to that in Pokemon Hoenn League. But I may not do it because Nintendo sues. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> Was well, technically could they even touch my money? I don't think they can. I think I'm in the clear. <laughs> I think I'm in the clear. <laughs> Um, so this would probably be <coughs> the kitchen. I might make it bigger than that. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I actually might. No, I can have a hallway. Do I want a hot dog down the hallway or do I want a hot dog in a hot dog bun? I think I'll go hot dog down the hallway. So, one more, and then hot dog down the hallway, or hot dog bun. Hallway. <coughs> I'll do a hallway, instead of a bun. And if you don't know these references, good. And if you do, good. Why is it doing that for us? So weird. Huh. Whatever. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to do double walls. I mean, I could. I should know. I probably should. Whoops. Not this. Yeah, I'll do double walls there, but not. <coughs> Actually, no. No, I won't. Okay. So this is the kitchen. I want to put a entrance maybe like over here. <coughs> okay, so living space. If I do it right, I could also have a, a small little mud room. Which is, I don't think a mudroom is common for, is it common for America? I don't know. I've never had one. Well, I mean, I guess I have. Well. Maybe not, no. It was like a small little entrance. But I was in a trailer home, so. I wouldn't really consider it a mudroom.
If I do this... Hmm. Honestly, hold on. I might... Hmm. I want to get rid of the entrance for now and then replace it. Let me think here. I have the kitchen. I have the two bedrooms and the bathroom. The living space <coughs> will be where the entrance is. I could put it could put it on the far right and then the storage room in the middle maybe I mean that works and then the entrance will be over there storage room will be next to the kitchen for where all the food was stored because this house is abandoned or whatever happened here I've not really decided yet, but uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so <clears throat> it'll be the same. size as this one with an entrance over here and then <coughs> storage room right here there's our layout <coughs> all right so that will be it for now in the next video which will more than likely be tomorrow I'm not gonna guarantee it who knows I might spend tomorrow recording more um Wasteland 3 we'll see though who knows I didn't play any today though I mostly did this and well yeah that was honestly it but if you all enjoyed the video, feel free to do the usual stuff that I normally say if you want to. It is a choice for now at least until, well, something happens to that choice. You never know. Could happen. You never know. Subscribing could become a monetization feature. You never know. Let's hope not, though. But if you all enjoyed, I will see you guys later, and have a wonderful day.